As far as I'm concerned, everything so you do is I think you you've got beautiful writing. I think everything about you, Daisy, is absolutely beautiful. Isn't it? You're very special. So how did that make you feel? And I don't know, I don't hear that. You just heard it. Okay. Did it make you feel happy or how do you think it made you feel? Sad. So it was not a very nice thing to say to anybody, is it? I think you've got lovely writing, Daisy. Do you try your best? Yeah. That's all that you can do. Yes? Some people aren't very good at drawing, or some people are, are not as good as others running. I can do my name. But everybody's got, everybody has got something that they are very good at, and you're very good at being very nice. And you're very good at being kind, and you're very good at looking beautiful, aren't you? Hey, I'm very good at cutting out because I mean today you've made an angel, and you helped me wrap the paper, wrap the presents up, and that was really good cutting out, wasn't it? Snip, snip, snip in the way. I think you did a fantastic job, didn't you? And I don't think there's anybody better with glitter and glue. I must say, I don't think I've seen anybody as good as you. No, sellotape. And sellotape. But well, I didn't do glue, did I? Glitter and glue on your angel. I didn't do glue, did I? Well, that's where the glitter is in, like a glue stuff to make it stick. Yeah, because otherwise the glitter would just fall out off, wouldn't it? It needs to be stuck down with glue. Yeah. So you put glue and the glitter sticks in the glue, doesn't it? Mrs. Raybould or any wouldn't say anything else that doesn't you don't think is very nice or that you don't like? No. Nothing else being said, no? No. Okay, we're done. I'm sorry. Right, say that again, sweetheart. Um Tell me what happened. Um Bold, um, um, I found my print. What, what did she say? Um, Mrs. Raybould asked about my print. What did she say? Did she say, um, is your splint purple? Or did she ask where your splint was? Or did she say, no. what, what did she say, babes? No. You don't know? No. I didn't say anything. I just said, Where's your splint? Where's your splint and what did you say? Because um, you're wearing your blue yeah. boots, aren't you? Yeah. So what did you say, babes? And um, you know doctors? Yeah. Doctors in town. Um, and one time ago, <laughs> and my doctor said, I have to wear my splint every day. Well, really, you have to sort of try and wear, and I did ask you this morning, but... I leave it up to you because whose leg is it? It's yours. So it's up to you if you don't want to wear it. I don't force you to, do I? But we've agreed that you are going to wear it some days, haven't we? Yeah. yeah? But Mum, when we go on um, a trip or anything, yeah. on a bus or anything, I'll wear my print all right. That is a good idea. Are you going to try and wear it tomorrow? Because you didn't wear it today because your first day back What's after Christmas. Tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is Thursday. And I don't think you've got anything on, like trips or anything. So do you want to give it a go tomorrow? No. We have to try, don't we, to stretch that but, leg? Yeah. But the ag what, what, I'm, what I'm concerned about is they shouldn't be talking to you. They should be talking to me, shouldn't they? Yeah. Because you're only a little girl. Yeah. yeah. And they shouldn't be putting this pressure on my little baby girl, should they? You you tell me if anything said that you, that you don't understand. You tell me, okay? okay? Good girl. Okay. Leave your butty now. Good girl. I can't open it. Let's have a look.
Here you go. They're two apples. They look like two apples. <laughs> they look like two apples.